Hello gorgeous. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to style your twist, beaded twist in several ways. So stay tuned. The first style here is slick back. I'm just going to pack it down behind. So I'm gathering the hair and I'll use my rubber band to wrap it and keep it intact. For this style, I'm going to be packing my hair into two equal parts. So I'm going to divide my hair into two, then I'll take it and pack at the center of each side, thereby creating two pigtails. I think that's what it's called. So you want to take your elastic band and wrap it as firm as you can. Now using the initial hairstyle I showed you, this time I'm just going to flip it over and like double it so that the beads can be much more elevated. Now for this style, it's similar to the initial one where we just saw, but this time around I'm going to make it higher. I'm not going to make it like um, middle or at the center. I'm going to take it very high and use my elastic band and hold it once again so it's still the same a little bit the same but not exactly you see the difference here i'm trying to create bangs so i'm just taking the center pieces of hair i have on my head and I'm trying to position them well at my eyebrow length and then I'll take my bobby pin and pin it in place from each side to make sure that it doesn't like move around or scatter. Then you adjust the rest of the hair. That is it for this first look with bangs. This second look with bangs, I'll just make it a side pattern. So I'll just take some hair from here and flip it over to the other side. This third look with bangs, I'll be doing the half up, half down with bangs. So you just want to take um, the front section of your hair, take it as high as you can and then use your elastic band to Hold it tight. The initial style, but this time we're going to make the beads more prominent. Flip it over and use your elastic band to wrap it. That's all. For this look, I'm creating half up, half down without any bangs or anything. I'll just bring out two pieces of hair from the front of my face so that it will frame my face better. So you just want to take the front section of your hair and put it together with an elastic band or your hair ruffle or packer. Still on the initial side, but once again, we're going to make the beads more prominent. So this time around, I'm going to twist the section of hair I have packed and then bundle it, rubber band it. Now for this other style, we're going to gather the entire hair on our head, just leaving out the drops once out. And we're going to pack it as a high ponytail. You want to pack it as high as you want for this look. And then once you are done packing it, you want to also flip it over and make it like higher and the beads more prominent from the front so that you will not be looking too basic or like nothing is going on. Okay. Now 
Now for this style, you just take um, a section of your hair from the front and twist it and take it towards the back. You do it for the other side and you join the two of them together with your elastic band. And that was it for this style. Very simple and cute. You just want to get the hair away from your face. Now once again with the bangs, this time I'll be doing two pigtails with the bangs. So I'm just taking a little portion of my hair from each side and I'll wrap the hair around it itself and then take my elastic band and just put on it to hold it in place. Mickey Mickey Mouse! Mickey Mickey Mouse! <laughs> okay, so for this style, you want to take your elastic, your like mini rubber bands and go up at the root of your hair and tie, tie it there. After doing that, you now want to cross it over to the next one, like adjacent. I think so, yeah. You want to cross it as, uh, adjacent to the adjacent hair and thereby you are forming this um, crisscross rubber band look. I think there was a time it trended, so I think you get okay what I'm saying. So that's what I'm going for here. At this point, I'll only do one side of my hair to kind of frame it to give me a side pattern with that crisscross look. Just like that crisscross look, but that was one sided. This time around, I completed it throughout the front of my hair, and this is the look. Now, still on the crisscross as the foundation of this hairstyle, we're going to take um, all the front hairs we had crisscrossed that is hanging, we're going to take it and pack it up, thereby giving this half up, half down look too. But you know, the crisscross is adding another finesse and style to it. So that's what I would do, basically. And once again, you always see me flip it over after showing you the initial style because to me, I feel like I would always want my beads to show from the front of my face. Now, leaving the initial hairstyle, I'll just take the rest that is hanging below and take it towards the top and make a top knot bun. So still the same formal look, but you know this one has crisscross in front of it. So that's just what you want to do. Take your elastic band, go over it, and make sure you flip it over to give more elevated look. So here, using the same crisscross look, I'm going to make two pigtails. Um, at the front, yeah. So you just want to take the ones you have crisscrossed. Make sure you have some hair falling behind you. That's why I'm saying take just the ones you crisscross. Now for this look, it is similar to the half up half down, but I'm not taking the entire section of hair at my front. I'm just taking the one at the center of my head, like at the top, the top ones that I crisscrossed. So I'll take it and fold it into half or flip it over and use my elastic band, my mini rubber band and hold it in place. Now this hair is a very simple look. It was a look I even wore the first day after making this hair and I showed it in the video where I made this twist. So make sure you check that out. You want to take the hair, stretch it to the back, take a bobby pin and pin it behind your ear. So it'll give you this classic, beautiful look. For this look, you just want to take the hairs that are at the top of your head and put them together. Then use your hair or full elastic band go over it to make it firm and that's what we are doing here so 
after using an elastic band on it, I had to try different things. I put it at the front of my face and it gave me this look. Then I flipped it over to the back and let it fall at the sides and here I have this look. I also took it again and I flipped it to the side and it gave me this look so you can do it however you please. For this part, you now want to twist it so that the beads will be on top, sitting at the top of your head and you use your elastic band and put it in place. So that's like the fourth look with this style. So just as we've been doing pigtails or like two buns, I don't know what exactly to even call this. But this time I'm doing it similar to half up, half down. So I'm leaving some se um, the back section of my hair to fall and I'm just taking the front piece and putting it up. Now we are to the basic hairstyle. So this is just you leaving the hair for center at the center. I keep styling it as a center pattern and allowing the hair to drop and hang. Then for this, you want to take some hair from the other side, flip it over to the other side, thereby creating side parting. To make it much more um, practical, so you can wear it out, I'll take my bobby pins and put um, on the hair to keep it in place so that it won't be falling over or you understand blocking my face because you'll be busy during the day when you're wearing this style. So still on the side passing but this time around I'm trying to make um, form like a slick bang a side swoop with a twist so I'll take the front pieces of my hair and try and stretch it due to the beads some it was not really allowing me to take it as far as I wanted to but it still gave the look so I just took it close to my ear and then I took my bobby pins and I fixed it in place I even only used one bobby pin So here we are on to the last tile, still the same two bonds, but this time it's going to be a low bun. So unlike the very high bun or the middle bun we did initially, this one is going to be very, very low. So it's still a different look depending on what you're going for. Once again, we're going to flip it over, make the beads more prominent and more juicy and bouncy. Use the rubber band and go over it. That's it. We have come to the end of this video. I am so tired. My hands are paining me. My head is kind of paining me. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, entertaining, satisfying, Please make sure to thumbs up, comment below, share to your friends, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love you all. See you next time. Bye.